Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Good can, evening. can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Okay, welcome once again. Bueno, de entrada, me disculpo, el día de ayer no pude conectarme, estaba a punto de entrar a la sesión, ya había tenido, siempre los grupos de inglés corporativo, ¿verdad? Había tenido una clase anteriormente, luego otra, justo fue terminando la segunda, cayó un rayo cerca de mi casa, bueno, no sé dónde, pero se escuchó un trueno, y adiós internet. De hecho, hoy estoy en otro lugar, porque todavía no se ha recuperado, así que... Um, les agradezco a todos por su comprensión y pues esa clase de ayer se va a reponer el día viernes, ¿de acuerdo? Así que si bien ayer pudimos descansar, pues vamos a tener que reponer ese el viernes para que no se pierda. So, having said that, we are going to begin. Ok, Doribel nos dice, estará de oyente. All right, just uh, let me get everything ready for your class right now. Just a moment, and then we begin. Okay, I'm sharing the screen with you right now. Okay, um, attendance, attendance list. When you hear your name, please let me know. Okay, Braulio Heriberto Velázquez Mejía. Present the chair. Thank you. Let me find the list. Okay. Carlos Alberto Martinez Alvarado. Present teacher. Hello. Cesar. Present. Thank you. Okay. Cesar Alejandro Aparicio Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia Maria Garcia Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Damaris Isabel Castellanos Tobar. Damaris Isabel Castellanos Tobar. Doribel Arely Arriaza Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Elí Antonio Sandoval Colindres. Elí Antonio Sandoval Colindres. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez Orellana. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez Orellana. Herbert Adán Miranda. Herbert Adán Miranda. Isabo Elizabeth Torres Amaya. Isabo Elizabeth Torres Amaya. Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara Centeno. Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara Centeno. Jacqueline Rebeca Cermeño López. Jacqueline Rebeca Cermeño López. Jaime Adonai Durán Hércules. Jaime Adonai Durán Hércules. Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vázquez. Present. Thank you. Jesús Eduardo Escobar Carranza. Present. Thank you. Juan Carlos Maravilla Méndez. Present teacher. Thank you. 
Carla Abigail Aguilar Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Catherine Yasmín Guatemala Arias. Catherine Yasmín Guatemala Arias. Laura Concepción Mena Garay. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Fernando Linares Sierra. Present. Thank you. Luz Clara de la O Fuentes. Present teacher. Thank you. Marina Esmeralda Martínez Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you. Raúl Antonio Pérez Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Rebeca Abigail Calderón Cruz. Rebeca Abigail Calderón Cruz. René Giovanni Martínez Aguilar. René Giovanni Martínez Aguilar. Ruth Marielos Amaya de Guardado. Here. Thank you. Salvador Enrique Palomo Gómez. I am ready, teacher. Thank you. Saúl Alexander Lozano Calderón. Present teacher. Thank you. Wendy Lisset Carías de Cedillos. Present teacher. Thank you. I'm going to call the names of those who haven't replied. Damaris Isabel Castellanos Tovar. Is Damaris Isabel Castellanos online? Eli Antonio Sandoval Colindres. Eli Antonio Sandoval Colindres. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez Orellana. Present teacher. Thank you. Herbert Adán Miranda. Good night, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I'm oh, sorry. It's okay. Thank you. Isabo Elizabeth Torres Amaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara Centeno. Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara Centeno. Jacqueline Rebeca Cermeño López. Jacqueline Rebeca Cermeño López. Jaime Adonai Durán Hércules. Jaime Adonai Durán Hércules. Catherine Yasmín Guatemala Arias. Present Thank you. Rebeca Abigail Calderón Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you. René Giovanni Martínez Aguilar. René Giovanni Martínez Aguilar. Okay then, we begin. Okay, everybody, take a look and uh, be welcome once again to Inglés Preintermedio Modulo 3. That's me, Ivan Doñan, at your service. And this is session 13, okay, on uh, June 13th of 2023, okay? Remember, we were supposed to have this class yesterday, but I had some technical issues, and that's why we had to leave it for today. Okay, so what are we going to do? This is the beginning of lesson of session no, sorry, section five. So in this session, you will listen to a conversation between two people making plans. Future with present continuous and be going to are introduced. Okay. En esta clase escucharán una conversación entre dos personas haciendo planes. El futuro con el presente continuo y con el be going to, ¿verdad? Serán presentados por primera vez. 
So what are we going to do right here? Before we begin, we have the snapshot, making excuses. Now, these are some common excuses for not accepting an invitation, okay? Sometimes you receive an invitation, but you don't want to go to a place or you don't want to do an activity. So what do you do? You give an excuse. So what are some common excuses for not accepting an invitation? Well, the first one is, well, I need a volunteer to help me read it. Vamos a ir leyendo de dos en dos para no atrasarnos mucho. Volunteers, please, the first, the first two. Who can help me read them? ¿Quién me ayuda a leerlas? Por favor. Luis Fernando and then Braulio Heriberto. So Luis Fernando, please read number one and number two. Braulio Heriberto, number three and number four. Please, please. Okay, uh, it's the sentences of the right, right? Yes. Okay, uh, the first one is, uh, I can't. My parents are busy from out of town. Yeah, that's an excuse. You say, I can't. My parents are visiting from out of town. Mis padres me visitarán y vienen desde fuera de la ciudad. Okay, thank you. The second one, Luis, please. Um, the second say, I'm busy that night. I'm busy that night, okay. I'm busy that night. Thank you, uh, Braulio Heriberto, number three and number four, and then Isabel Elizabeth, number five and number six, and then Saul, number seven and number eight. Okay, Braulio. Okay, teacher, uh, I'm sorry. I can't find a baby sister. Babysitter. Babysitter, sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm no, sorry, no. I can't find a babysitter. No puedo encontrar una niñera. I can't find a babysitter. And the next one, Braulio, sorry. I am not uh, feeling well. Mm -hmm. I am not feeling well. No me siento bien. I am not feeling well. Okay, thank you, Braulio. Uh, the next one is Isabel with number five and number six, please. Isabel Elizabeth, are you online? Uh, okay, teacher, I boy. Um, I'm not feeling well. Uh -huh, the next one, please. And I have to work. I have to work. That's another excuse, okay, to get mm -hmm. out of doing something. The next one, please, Isabel. Uh, second, teacher. Uh, yeah, you have to read too. So. This one right here, Isabel. Um, I just got a new puppy. I have to stay home with it. Yes, I just got a new puppy, okay? Un nuevo perrito. I just got a new puppy. I have to stay home with it, okay? Thank you, Isabel. Luis, uh, sorry, Saul Alexander. Uh, please read uh, the next two, seven and eight. And Claudia Maria is going to help us with the last one. So, Saul Alexander, please. I have class that night. I have class that night. Okay. Yeah, I have class that night. And the next one, Saul. My favorite TV show is on that night. My favorite TV show is on that night specifically. Okay, thank you. Claudia Maria, the last one, please. I have to get up early the next morning. I have to get up early the next morning. Okay, good. So I'm reading all the excuses. The first one is, I can't. My parents are visiting from out of town. The second one is, I'm busy that night. The next one is, I'm sorry. I can't find a babysitter. Next is, I'm not feeling well. No me siento bien. The next one is, I have to work. Next is, I just got a new puppy. I have to stay home with it. I have class that night. My favorite TV show is on that night. And I have to get up early the next morning. So those are excuses, okay? Like this lady is asking her out and she's saying, I'm sorry, I have to wash my hair that night, so. She's giving an excuse. Okay, so uh, which are good excuses and which are bad excuses? I want to know. Here's the question, okay? 
out of the uh, in the list, okay, which are good excuses and which are bad excuses? Cuáles son buenas excusas y cuáles son malas? Volunteer, please, who can tell me? Jacqueline Elizabeth nos informa que ya está por acá. Thank you, Jacqueline. Okay, so uh, the question is, okay, Wendy Lisette, which are good excuses and which are bad excuses in your opinion? Uh, I am sorry, I can't find a babysitter. Is that a good excuse or a bad one? Excuse, teacher. Is it a good excuse or is it a bad excuse? Bad excuse. It's a bad excuse, okay? So what will be a good excuse? I have a class on that, that night. I have a class that night, yeah, that's a good excuse. Okay, all right, sounds good. All right, um, Braulio Riverto. Uh, I'm not feeling well. Is that a good it, excuse? Is that a good excuse or a bad one? It is good, good excuse. It's a good excuse, okay, all right. And uh, what would be a bad excuse, Braulio? My favorite TV show is on that night. My favorite TV show is on that night. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Thank you, Braulio. Okay. Uh, let's move on because there's still a lot to do. So there's a conversation, making plans. Okay. I need two volunteers. One. Okay. Saul is going to help us. Now I need a lady, please. A lady to work with Saul to read the conversation, please. A lady for this exercise. Una dama ahí que nos ayude, por favor, a leer. There are no ladies. What's going on? Una chica que nos ayude a leer, por favor. Isabo, thank you. Okay, so uh, Isabo, you're going to play Lynn. And Saul, you're going to play Miguel. Let's do it. Isabo, you begin. Isabo? Okay, well, necesitamos. Hey, okay. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow, some fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay, after work. Maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds good, great. Sounds okay, great. Great. thank you, Saul and Isabel. Isabel. So Lynn says, say Miguel, do you, uh, what are you doing tonight? Okay, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? And uh, Saul says, sorry, not Saul, Miguel says, I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. So Lynn says, oh, well, maybe some other time. Miguel says, are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Lynn says, tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. Miguel says, so let's go around six. Lynn says, okay, afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. And Miguel says, sounds great. Okay. That's the conversation. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary or the, the pronunciation of any words or any expressions in the text, in the conversation right here? Anything? Yes. Uh, what's the meaning bowling? Go bowling. Okay. Yes. And ir a jugar boliche. 
It's bowling. Oh, okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Go bowling. You're welcome. Okay, so um, Luis Fernando and then Braulio Oliverto. Luis Fernando, do you have a question? Uh, yeah, teacher. But is the uh, the before the, the the before presentation about the meaning of babysitter? Babysitter. Yep. Babysitter. Babysitter is usually is a person, usually a girl, that uh, goes to your house and takes care of your children. You have to pay her, right? Because you have to go out, so there is a person in charge taking care of them. That's a babysitter. Okay. Do you understand? And, uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, but um, I think the, the translate is like niñera. Yes. Exactly. That's what it is. That's oh, a okay. babysitter. I, I, I confuse because I I know that the pronunciation is baby sister. No, but, it's babysitter. Uh, okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. You're welcome. Okay, Braulio Heriberto, what's your question? Uh, teacher, what is pronunciation and the word of the after word? Uh, what word? Uh, uh, afterward. Uh, afterward. I see. The pronunciation I see. is afterward. I see. Okay. Af afterward. Thank you. Afterward Thank you. means después. Okay, you're welcome. Saul Alexander. Okay, mi pregunta es, teacher, un poquito aquí. Um, esta palabra que sí, que, ¿cómo se llama? Que dice después de las cinco, que quiere decir después de las cinco, se ocupa solo aquí o. O este, no se puede es, utilizar en, until, así es, no es después, until, después, sino hasta, until, hasta, a, hasta, hasta, hasta las 5. Eh. I'm going to work hasta. until 5. Voy a trabajar hasta las 5. Ajá, hasta las 5, solamente. Ah. Ok, yeah, that's it. Until means hasta. Ok, teacher. Ok, welcome. Jaime Adonai. I'm present, teacher. Thank you for letting me know. Let me take your attendance record. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Did you say retraso? Delay. I'm sorry, and delay. It's okay, don't worry. Thank you, thank you for uh, letting me know. Okay, uh, let's continue then. So by the end of this session, you will have learned how to use future with the present continuous and be going to. Maybe not the present continuous, but yeah, be going to. So al final de esta clase habrán aprendido cómo usar el, el uso del futuro con el presente continuo y el be going to. El estar yendo dice ahí, pero es el be going to. So uh, take a look at this. This is the grammar focus. Uh, future with present continuous and be going to. So with present continuous, you have, what are you doing tonight? I'm going to a soccer match. The next one is, are you doing anything tomorrow? No, I am not. As you can see, the second question is a yes, no question. The first question is an information question. When they ask you an information question, like what are you doing tonight? They, they need specific information for an answer. Example, I'm going to a soccer match. And uh, the second one is a yes, no question. Yes, no questions usually require two possible answers, yes or no. So are you doing anything tomorrow? No, I'm not. What about the next section, which is with the be going to plus the verb. You say, what is she going to do tomorrow? She's going to work until five, okay? and. Uh, are they going to go bowling? Van a irse a jugar boliche. Are they going to go bowling? You say, yes, they are. Sometime expressions that we need to learn for this lesson are tonight, tomorrow, on Friday, this weekend, and next week. Okay, all those expressions. But as usual, as you know, um, the material or the information in the material uh, from the uh, manuals is not enough, okay? So you need to expand it a little bit. 
That's why I have brought this with me. This is present continuous for the future. Now you have studied present continuous for actions happening right now. For example, I can say, I am working, I am teaching a class, okay? I can say, I am not watching TV, I am not sleeping, okay? So what do you have? This is present continuous for the future. It's the same structure, but you use it for the future like this. Now look, in the first uh, illustration, they say they are playing tennis. When are they playing tennis? They're playing tennis now. So you use present continuous to talk about actions happening right now at the moment of speaking. That is present continuous. They are playing tennis. When are they playing? They're playing now. But now I want you to take a look at the second picture. Look at this. You have this guy, he says, I'm playing tennis tomorrow, okay? Maybe it's Sunday, the next day is Monday, 2.50, tennis, or 2.30, I'm sorry, tennis. So you say he is playing tennis, but not right now. He's playing tennis tomorrow. So he's playing tennis. They're using the structure of present continuous which normally is for activities happening right now. But in this case, they have changed it. And now you have to know that you can use the present continuous to talk about the future. Like this man, he's saying, I'm playing tennis tomorrow. So what is the structure? Okay, nothing new. We have studied this before. You have to use M is or R plus the verb in ing. That's present continuous for something happening right now. For example, you ask, where are Sue and Amanda? And the answer is they are playing tennis in the park. They're playing tennis in the park. So that is right now. It's happening right now. Then you have, please be quiet. Okay, I'm working. When are you working? You're working right now. So please be quiet, this person says. We also use M is or R plus the verb in ing, that's present continuous for the future. Okay, you can use the present continuous to talk about the future. It is possible, and we're going to study how to do it today. Okay, you have two examples. Andrew is playing tennis tomorrow. Maybe this is Andrew, okay? So Andrew is playing tennis tomorrow. And I am not working next week. No voy a trabajar la otra semana, right? Maybe this person got vacation. I don't know. So uh, remember, now this is present continuous for the future, okay? This is what I want you to, to know, to learn and memorize, okay? When you say, I am doing something tomorrow, that means I have arranged to do it. I have a plan to do it. And what is an arrangement, okay? What is an arrangement? Does anybody know what an arrangement is? What's an arrangement? Si alguien sabe qué significa un arrangement, puede compartirlo ahorita con el resto del grupo. What is an arrangement? What do you say arrangement, teacher? <laughs> arrangement. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. You mean? Díganos usted. Okay, Díganos usted, I'm, usted, I'm, go I'm, going, I'm going to tell you then. Okay. An arrangement is a kind of plan. Usually arrangements include specific people, specific place, specific time in a specific activity. That is an arrangement. For example, take a look. Sophie is going to the dentist on Friday. So Sophie is going to the dentist on Friday. ¿Qué va a pasar? ¿Que solo va a entrar Sophie a ver al dentista? No, ya le programaron una cita. Okay, so you have she has an appointment with the dentist. Okay. Tiene una cita con el dentista. Now, this is an arrangement. This is an arrangement because it has specific people. What is the specific people? In this case, the specific person is the doctor, the dentist. A specific place, the clinic of the dentist, okay? A specific time. We don't know the time exactly, but we know the day, which is Friday. So that's it, okay? Um, when you use the present continuous for the future, 
basically what you're doing is you're talking about arrangements, okay? Algo que ya está arreglado. Algo que ya está pactado. So that's it. So Sophie is going to the dentist on Friday because the dentist told her, okay, I want you to come on Friday. It's an arrangement. She said, yes, okay, I will be there. That's an arrangement. So Sophie is going to a dentist on Friday. The second example goes like this. It's, uh, we are having a party next weekend. Pero claro, las fiestas no se organizan sola, ¿verdad? So we are having a party next weekend. Maybe these people already has the music, the decorations, the place, the food, everything. Ya llamó, ya le hicieron el paquete entero, ¿verdad? Para la, para la fiesta. So uh, we're having a party next weekend. No es cuestión de que tal vez o quizás no. Ya lo decidieron y ya le pusieron fecha y ya están los invitados y ya está lo que van a comer y ya está la música que van a poner, etcétera, etcétera. So we are having a party next weekend. This is an arrangement porque ya se puso usted de acuerdo con alguien más. We are having a party next weekend. The next one is, are you meeting your friends tonight? Okay. Are you meeting your friends tonight? ¿Te vas a reunir con tus amigos esta noche? If you want to ask using the present continuous like this, are you meeting? Uh, basically, what I'm asking is, do you have an arrangement to meet your friends? The next one, what are you doing tomorrow night? ¿Qué vas a hacer mañana por la noche? So what are you doing tomorrow night? And the last one, I am not going out. I'm staying home. So, no voy a salir, me voy a quedar en casa. I am staying home. And you see this girl right here. I'm going to a concert tomorrow. She has a very big ticket. Okay. So, there you go. Before we continue, do you have any questions about this topic? Antes que entremos de lleno los ejercicios, ¿tienen alguna duda? No, teacher. No questions. Okay, so we understand that we can use the present continuous for the future too. It's not only for actions happening right now, but also you can use it for uh, activities in the future. Okay, so well, let's move on then. We have to use the present continuous, like I'm staying, are you coming, etc., to say what somebody has arranged to do, arrangements. You say, I'm staying home tomorrow. Are you going out tonight? ¿Se va a salir esta noche? Obviamente hay que tener una persona con quien no se va a ver, un lugar donde no va a estar, etc., etc. Oh, so those are arrangements, okay? Are you going out tonight? And Lisa isn't coming to the party next, next week. No va a venir a la fiesta la siguiente semana. So Lisa isn't coming to the party next week. So, uh, but we use, now look at this again, right? You use the present continuous to say what somebody has arranged to do. You use the present continuous for the future if you want to express arrangements. Y que, de nuevo, ¿qué son los arrangements? Son planes definitivos que ya tienen por lo general una persona, un lugar, un día, una actividad, ya está todo armado, ¿verdad? Eso es un arrangement. Ya quedó, ya quedó usted con alguien más. Ya partó usted ese día. So that's an arrangement. So when you say, I'm staying home tomorrow, are you going out tonight? And Lisa isn't coming to the party next week. That means that they have already made their decisions. But we use the simple present. What is the simple present? Start, arrives, etc. For schedules, trains, buses, etc. Okay? Para horarios. That's the meaning. So you have two examples right here. Our plane arrives in New York at 7.30 tomorrow morning. Our plane arrives in New York at 7.30 tomorrow morning. Now, what is this? You are using the present simple for the future. Están ocupando el present simple para expresar algo en el futuro, lo cual se puede hacer. Pero bajo qué circunstancias? This is when you talk about schedules, trains, buses, etc. In other words, you don't have any control over the time the plane arrives. No importa lo que usted haga, no tiene ningún control sobre la hora de llegada del avión. Okay? 
Así que esto no es un arrangement. This is not an arrangement. Okay, uh, this is a schedule for an event. So our plane arrives in New York at 7.30 tomorrow morning. The second one is, what time does the movie end tonight? Okay, maybe it ends at 9 p.m., at 10 p.m., or 11 p.m. So careful there. So what time does the movie end tonight? Now I want you to compare this. Present continuous is usually for people. Examples, I am going to a concert tomorrow. What time are you leaving? Okay, a que hora te vas? And then you have this, the concert starts at 7.30. What time does your, train leave, your plane leave? So again, pay close attention to this because you use present simple when this is out of your control. Cuando esto está fuera de su control or this is beyond your control, cuando está más allá de su control, ya no le pueden exigir esto. So you have this, the concert starts at 7.30. So the concert starts, this is something that uh, you have no control over. No tiene control sobre esto. Si usted llega temprano, igual comienza a las siete y media. Si usted llega tarde, igual comienza a las siete y media. Usted no tiene ningún poder de decisión sobre esta hora. Así que ya no es un plan, ya no es un arrangement porque no depende de usted. What time does your plane leave? ¿A qué hora sale tu vuelo? ¿O a qué hora sale tu avión? ¿Qué es esto? No importa que usted llegue temprano al aeropuerto, si sale a determinada hora, a esa hora va a salir. Usted llega temprano, se va. Si llega tarde, no lo van a esperar, se va a ir. ¿Ok? So this doesn't depend on you. Esto no depende de usted. No es un plan que usted tenga. This is a schedule, trains, buses, etc. And you can use it for other, uh, in other contexts. For example, uh, you can use it in, for the class. You can use it for the class. You say, what time does the class start? You say, the class starts at nine. La clase comienza a las nueve, entre nueve y nueve y cinco, más o menos. So the class starts at nine. Si usted está a tiempo para la clase, bueno, si llega tarde la clase, igual, la clase empieza a la misma hora, porque usted no tiene control sobre la hora a la que comienza. So when that happens, you use present simple. When, when it depends on you because you made the plan, then you can use present continuous, okay? Do you have any questions about this? Any questions about this? Do you have any questions? No questions. No questions. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. All right. So um, let's continue. So uh, give me a moment, please. I need to change something here in the presentation. Just a second. Okay. Okay, we're back. So this is your turn. Look at the pictures. What are these people uh, doing next Friday? What are these people doing next Friday? So you have here, Andrew, Friday, tennis. Dan, movies. Rachel, meet Dave. Karen, lunch with Will. Sue and Tom, party at and the name of the place is not specific. So the first one is an example. Andrew is playing tennis. So what about number two? What is Dang doing? Using present continuous. Wendy Lisette. Dan is watching two movies. Dan is watching movies, but maybe not watching movies, but he is going to the movies, right? Going that means he's going, he's going to the movie theater. The okay. Sirba Cine. Okay, so Dan is going to the movies. Okay, okay. but thank you. Thank you, Wendy. Uh, Saul Alexander, what about Rachel? What is Rachel doing? Rachel is doing meet Dave meeting. 
Okay, can you repeat it, Rachel? Rachel meeting and they lunch with Will. Lunch with Will. No, no, that's Karen. That's the next one. Okay, no, number three. Rachel. Rachel meeting. Uh, mm -hmm. Day on Friday. Day on Friday. Okay. One word is missing. Le falta una palabrita ahí. One word is missing. Watch this. Going. Ajá, falta una palabra ahí. Rachel. Rachel it is going to me. No, I mean, what you told me before was good. Lo que usted me dijo antes estaba bien, pero oh, le faltaba okay. una palabra. So, Rachel. Rachel is meeting Dave on Friday. Rachel is no. meeting Dave. Yeah, Rachel is meeting Dave. You can say on Friday. That's extra information, but it's okay. Very good. Thank you, yeah. Saul. What about number four? I need a volunteer, please. Braulio. Karen is eighteen. Eighteen lunch with Will. Karen is eating lunch with Will. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Okay, you can yeah. say that, but there is another verb that is better, better than eat lunch. There is another verb. Hay uno que queda mejor mm. que eat. Mm. Um, food, food, um, no. uh, food uh, is not a verb. Sorry, 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 sorry. It's okay. Um, don't, don't, um, no, sorry, teacher. It's okay. So we can say Karen is having lunch with Will. Okay. Having lunch, that's the verb. Okay, Jaime Adonai, Thank number you. five. You're welcome. Number five, Jaime. Two and Tom is. Mm -mm, two people. Two and Sue and Tom. Two and Tom. Sue and Tom are. Mm -hmm. Sue and Tom yes. are. Sue and Tom are. Mm -hmm. Are going to? Uh huh. I, I going to? Going to, sorry, going to. Uh -huh. Clinton, I'm going to Friday in the party or the party? Okay, Sue and Tom are going to a party on Friday. On the party, yes. Okay, so Sue and Tom are going to a party. Yeah, th there you go. That's present continuous for the future. Now, if you notice, all of these are arrangements. Todos estos son planes bien elaborados, okay? Tennis, when, when, when we say Andrew is playing tennis, no es que Andrew tenga ganas de jugar tennis. No, ya quedó con alguien. Va a tener un partido con alguien. So Andrew is playing tennis. So they have an arrangement on, you know, with the person on a specific place at a specific time. That's an arrangement. Now you have Dan is going to the movies. Maybe there is a movie that he wants to watch and probably he's going with his friends. So yeah, that's a plan. And the friend said, yes, we want to go with you. And they have a place, <clears throat> a specific movie theater, and they have a time that's a specific time for this. What about number three? You have Rachel is meeting Dave, okay? No se lo va a ir de casualidad. Ya quedaron que se van a reunir. So that's an arrangement. Okay, so they say, Dave, do you want to meet on Friday? Yeah, where? At, uh, and then you say the name of a mall, for example. So uh, number four, Karen. Karen is having lunch with Will. Okay, they have already talked on the phone and they said, okay, on Friday, let's have lunch. Okay, at this restaurant, at this time. That's an arrangement. And the last one, Sue and Tom are going to a party. This is not just some intention. No, maybe they received an invitation and they said yes. And the party is at a specific place at a specific time with some specific people. 
et cetera, et cetera. So all of these situations are arrangements. Very important. All of these situations are arrangements in the end. Okay, uh, your turn. I want you to write questions. All the sentences are future. Todas son en el futuro. You have to use the present continuous for the future. You have, you go out tonight. What is the question? What's the question? ¿Cuál sería la pregunta? Saúl Alexander, what's the question? Where are you going tonight? Where are uh, you going out to? Actually, this is a yes, no question. So you don't need to say where. It's a yes, no question. Oh. Uh -huh. oh uh, do you go in out tonight? Using present continuous. Oh, oh. are you going? Are you going out tonight? Are you going out tonight? That is correct. Thank you, Saul. Braulio Heriberto, number two. Um, is, uh, are you working next weekend? Next are, you, week. are you working next week? Okay, good. Are you working next week? Correct, very good. Wendy Lisette Carias, number three. What you are doing tomorrow night? Word order. Orden de las palabras. What are you mm -hmm. doing tomorrow night? What are you doing tomorrow night? Okay, yeah, good. What are you doing tomorrow night? Great. Number four. Volunteer, please. Jaime. Voy a intentar porque aquí sí me cuesta un poco en esto. Um, what time? Yes. Yes. What time? What time is going to? Going to no lo hemos estudiado aún. Ah. ah. <laughs> lo vamos Sorry. a ver esta esta unidad lo vamos a ver. Okay. okay. So who can help us with this one? Number four. Okay, uh, Luis Fernando. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, what time? Um, are you? Coming your friends. Mm, wrong word order. Let's see okay. what Wendy Lisette has to say. What are your Thai friend coming? Mm, no, 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 no. The, uh, let's, are, let's, let's, let's take the elements. Okay, right here. Tomemos los elementos que están entre las plecas. Ahí es donde what, está time, la Ajá. what time coming your friends? Okay, um, two problems. Okay, one is you didn't include the verb be, and number two, Are the you? word uh -huh. order. Uh -huh. So let's hear Carla Abigail. Let's hear. What time are your friends coming? What time are your friends coming? That's the right one. What time are they coming? What time are your friends coming? Saul Alexander, number five, please. When are Liz going on work? Liz is one lady. So you say when? When is Liz going on vacation? When is Liz going on vacation? That is correct. Very good. When is Liz going on vacation? Okay, uh, what about number six? What do you have? Braulio. Uh, is, are you going to the party? Are you going to the party? Yeah, that is correct. 
Very good. Are you going to the party? Yes, no question. Number seven. Volunteer for number seven, please. Wendy Lisette, number seven, please. What time are you leaving? What time are you leaving? Okay, yeah, that's right. What time are you leaving? Very good, thank you. Uh, number eight. Carla Abigail and then Braulio, Braulio Heriberto. Okay, so Carla, number eight and Braulio number nine. Um, are you going to the beach next weekend? Are you going to the beach next weekend? Correct. Very good. Thank you. Braulio Heriberto, number nine, please. When is Andrew coming back? When is Andrew coming back? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. And number 10, I need a volunteer. This is the last one. Number 10, please. Okay, uh, Claudia Maria Garcia. Are you visit your parents tomorrow? The form of the verb is not correct. Remember that you have to use the verb in ing. So can you repeat it? But this time with the verb in ing. You visit your parents tomorrow. No. Again. Salvador Palomo. Are you visiting your parents tomorrow? Are you visiting your parents tomorrow? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, are you visiting your parents tomorrow? Okay, good. So you have the questions. Remember, uh, the structure is first the verb be, then the subject, verb in ing. Are you going? Are you working? Are you doing? Are your friends coming? Is Liz going? Are you going? Are you leaving? Are you going? Is Andrew coming? Are you visiting? There you go. Thank you very much. And now we have this exercise, but I don't know if we have enough time for it. Okay. Okay, we're going to try to do it now. If we don't have enough time, we will finish it tomorrow. So your turn. Put the verb in the present continuous, like he is leaving, etc., or the simple present. Acuérdense acá, verdad? Simple present para eventos en los cuales usted no tiene ningún control. So what about number one? It's a question. Who can tell me? Braulio. Is, are you going out tonight? Yes, are you going out tonight? You say, no, I'm too tired. What about number two? Thank you. Okay, uh, Wendy Lisette. We are going to a concert tonight. Uh, it's not a question. So you say, we are going to a concert tonight. And then? Wendy? It, is, it is starting at ah. seven, it's starting. Mm, be careful because this is not an arrangement. This is a schedule. Mm. So you have to use present simple. It, it started. Mm, not exactly. Let's see what Luis Fernando has to say about it, but thank you. It is a start at 7.30. We cannot say it, it, it is start. You don't use the verb be in the present simple. It's a bit different. Okay, um, it starts at 7.30. It starts at 7.30. Present simple because this is, this is an event over which you have no control, okay? This is a schedule. It's not an arrangement. Number three, volunteer, Salvador Palomo. No sé si quiere participar o si le quedó la mano levantada, nada más. Salvador Palomo. Me quedó levantada, teacher. Oh, okay, no problem. Okay, se le va a cansar ahí. Okay, so uh, volunteer, number three, please, who can help us? Number three, 
Son cuatro imputados, pero ¿a dónde los voy a colocar? Porque mira cómo... Y no... otro... Ok, sorry. Uh, number three. Raise your hand if you know the answer. Ok, Braulio. And then Saúl. <coughs> Listen to this. Is 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 Karen get married next month? It's not a question. It's not a question. It's an affirmative sentence. Ah, oh, sorry. It's okay. Uh, Is Karen Gary? It's, not a, Gary it's not a question. You have to use the order of an affirmative sentence. Mm. Si me dice, is Karen Gary? Entonces es una pregunta, pero no es una pregunta, es una oración afirmativa. Por lo tanto, el verbi y el sujeto, primero va el sujeto y luego el verbi. Let's, uh, okay. Karen, Karen is good. Karen is? Is good. Uh, Garen. Okay, Karen is getting married next month. Okay, thank you. Uh, Wendy Lisette, number four, please. My parents are going to on vacation next week. Uh -huh. And the other person says, oh, that's nice. Where? Where there I, where they are guys. Uh, no. Going to. Okay, but it's a question. So where? It, it, it's confused, teacher. It, I the, know. Um, the, for example, it starts. Mm -hmm. Is I don't understand the um why. <laughs> okay, why you have it starts porque estamos hablando de un concierto. Mm -hmm. Sobre un concierto usted no tiene ningún poder. Es decir, ahí no importa si usted llega temprano, si llega tarde o si no va, igual el concierto empieza a las siete y media. Okay. En cambio, si usted dice we are going to a concert. Eso es diferente porque usted está, ha hecho un plan para ir al concierto uh -huh. con ciertas personas a una hora específica. Ahí usted decidió eso. Okay. That's the difference. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Entonces, cuando usted ha hecho un arrangement, es decir, un plan con, con personas, con un lugar, con una hora y una actividad específica, entonces ahí se utiliza present continuous. Pero si estamos hablando de una acción a futuro, de la cual... Usted no va a efectuar para comenzar porque usted no abre el concierto, ¿verdad? Usted va al concierto, ¿ok? Y además no tiene ningún control sobre si sucede o no sucede o a qué hora sucede. Entonces ahí va a utilizar present simple. Present simple. Mm -hmm. okay. So my parents are going on vacation next week. You say, oh, that's nice. Where are they, are going? they going? Because this is a plan that they have. Mm -hmm. Okay, number five, uh, Saul Alexander. Anna is taking a, Anna is taking an English course this semester. The course ending on Friday. The course, a, the course, the course, the course, end on ending on Friday. Ending. There, yeah. No. No. End. No. The course, the course, the course, but it's not course. It's, it's course. The course ends on Friday. Ends, it's, uh, el, ends curso, on Friday. el curso finaliza el viernes. It's coincidence. And the same, it's the same for us. So uh, the course ends on Friday. Okay. ¿Por qué present simple? Porque ese día termina el curso. Ahí no lo decide usted. Es el día que le pusieron que terminaba y ese día termina. The course ends on Friday. Okay, what about number six? And this is probably going to be the last one, okay? Because we don't have enough time. The last one, number six. 
Volunteer, please. Braulio. Um, there's a party tomorrow night, but um, I am not going. But I am not going. Okay, correct. <laughs> okay, but I'm not going. We're going to finish this exercise tomorrow. Right now, I have to call the attendance one more time. Damaris is, uh, Isabel Castellanos Tovar. Is Damaris online? Probably not. Eli Antonio Sandoval Colindres. Is Eli Antonio Sandoval Colindres online? Jacqueline Rebeca Cermeño Lopez. Is Jacqueline Rebeca Cermeño online? And Rene Giovanni Martinez Aguilar. Is Rene Giovanni online tonight? Okay. Okay, uh, everybody, we'll continue the exercise tomorrow. Thank you very much and good night. Good night. Take good care. Night. Good night, teacher. Good night, good everybody. Night, good, night. Good, night. good night, good night. Good night.